It's the tale of the world's loneliest bird, the Spix macaw. You won't see one in the wild. Instead, it's the star of a new animated movie that tells the story of its flight towards extinction. Am I dead? No! We're still alive! Oh. <laughs> but the real-life fight to save the endangered parrot is a world away from Hollywood. On a dusty stretch of the Qatari desert lies the Alwabra Wildlife Preservation, where conservationists are trying to save critically endangered animals from extinction. And none is more important than the Spix macaw. I think the Spix macaw as a species presents arguably the greatest conservation challenge in the world today because they just have so much going against them and getting them to reproduce successfully is proving so challenging. The Spix macaw is native to Brazil, but it's been hunted into extinction in the wild. The last known sighting was 11 years ago. Captive birds are now the only lifeline for the species. There are 86 in total, and 55 of those live at Alwabra. This baby blue is the first to hatch from this season's batch of eggs. But it's a rare success. 280 eggs have been produced in Alwabra over the past six years. Less than 10% of those actually hatched a bird that is still alive. Alwabra was initially set up as a hobby farm by Sheikh Saud Mohammed bin Ali Al Thani in 1999. He brought in a team of zoologists and turned Alwabra into a haven for rare species struggling to survive in their own habitats. Unlike zoos, the purpose of the Alwabra Wildlife Preservation is not to provide entertainment for the public, but instead breed and protect endangered species. It's able to do that because it relies solely on private capital and not public revenues. Everything that's done here comes out of the pocket of Alwabra's founder. So that's a commitment that's almost unprecedented. The next step in saving the Spix macaw is releasing a flock of them into the wild. Sheikh Saud has bought 2,400 hectares of prime habitat in Brazil. In 2013, the Spix macaw will fly there for the first time in more than a decade. It's hoped the landscape will provide a safe haven for the bird to survive and thrive, one egg and one chick at a time. Caitlin McGee, Al Jazeera, Doha.